We should land our men and attack without delay. I don't agree, Wally. We're in no real hurry about this business. We hold every advantage. 100 guns, 300 seamen, 1,900 soldiers, and provisions for four months. We can afford to hold out these people until they surrender. Count Frontenac is no fool, mark my word. He'll know the right course to follow, and will so instruct our envoy. I rather think you're right, sir. With all the deadly error and superstitious practice on the French side, and all the sound doctrine and scriptural worship on ours, how could Providence hesitate which cause to support? Whom shall you designate as envoy, sir? Why, you, Savage, of course. You're the only one among us who speaks French. Well, but not fluently, sir. I shall write the message you're to carry. All you have to do is to read it in English to the governor. Don't worry about the reply. They have no choice but to surrender. L'envoyer de l'Admiral Phipps. You deserve voir Count Frontenac, the governor. My name is Thomas Savage. Je vous conduis au château. J'ignore si Son Excellence pourra vous recevoir. Mordez-lui les yeux. Vous êtes donc l'envoyé de cet amiral. Comme veut-il <coughs> Sir William Phipps, Knight, General and Commander-in-Chief, in and over His Britannic Majesty's forces of New England, by sea and by land to Count Frontenac, Lieutenant General and Governor for His Most Christian Majesty in Canada. The war between the crowns of England and France does not warrant the destructions and outrages committed by the French and their Indian allies upon the persons and estates of His Majesty's subjects in New England under your command and with your encouragement. Thus provoked and having hitherto avoided all reprisals, they have been compelled to assemble this expedition in order to ensure their own security and obtain satisfaction. Boston se plaint des incursions que nous avons faites à Schenectady. Je sais, je sais. Il fallait s'y attendre. Desirous, however, of preventing any unnecessary bloodshed and unchristian deeds, the government of the colony of Massachusetts in New England demands you surrender undamaged all your forts and castles, all royal and private stores, as well as the persons of all French subjects, civilian and military. Il demande que votre excellence capitule sans coup férir et cède les forts, les châteaux et les magasins de sa majesté. <coughs> Vraiment. Should you refuse to accept these terms, I shall with all possible dispatch and energy enforce your submission to the Crown of England with all means at my command. The consequences would be such then as to make you regret that you had not availed yourself in time of this offer. 
À défaut de quoi, ce sera la guerre et nous nous en repentirons. Your unconditional acceptance is expected within the hour, under flag of truce. Any delay or refusal being at your own peril. Il attend notre réponse dans une heure. Je ne voudrais pas attendre. Dites à votre général que je ne connais point de roi Guillaume. Je ne connais en Angleterre d'autres souverains que Jacques II. Et quand votre général m'offrirait des conditions plus douces, croit-il que si j'étais d'humeur à les accepter, tant de braves officiers que vous voyez ici, vous l'eussent y consentir Croit-il que je vais me fier à la parole d'un rebelle qui a manqué à la fidélité pour suivre la partie d'un prince qui détruit les lois et privilèges du royaume d'Angleterre et renverse la religion de l'État. Your Excellency still has one hour to think it over. Dites à votre maître que je vais lui répondre par la bouche de mes canons et qu'il apprenne que ce n'est pas de la sorte qu'on envoie son homme comme moi. Allez! 